Today we're going to be looking at plugins and in particular in this video I want to talk about Elementor. So you should be in your dashboard of your WordPress site and remember if you have gone to your WordPress site you've launched it from MAMP and all you see is your your actual site and you don't see this admin menu up here then all you have to do is simply add the wp-admin backslash and you'll be able to access your your uh, dashboard again. So let us go to plugins and the particular plugin we're going to work with today is Elementor. Now I already have Elementor installed here but if you don't you could either go to plugins add new uh, you could also click in add new from the menu over there but let's just click add new and here we could simply type in you would see it here and there would be an install now button that you would click and once you installed you would then click activate so let us now go to plugins and so we see that it's here you can then you can manage settings from in here you could also deactivate it if you no longer want it if you're going to be building websites professionally you could go pro that's a possibility you have to pay for it but this is actually a fairly good free program that I like to work with all right so right now we are going to go to all pages because I want to take a look at how we would use this plugin all right so if we look at this I have three pages here and uh, if you can see this one's called element number 23 but if you look down at this one you'll see that it has Elementor at the end here and it, then it says edit with Elementor. I have already gone into this page and told it that uh, I would like to use Elementor for editing it but I have not done that with this page or this page. So what I could do if I want to is I can click on the page to edit it and I could just start editing here in WordPress. Um, yeah, I could, I could edit here, but instead I'm going to click Edit with Elementor up here, and this will let your website know that it is okay to use Elementor. All right, a different video will show you how to use Elementor, but I just wanted to show that to you, so I am now going to go back to my dashboard and we are going to now see that it says Elementor here and I can edit with Elementor for here on out. So I don't have to hit that on every time I edit this page, I don't have to hit on that edit with Elementor that was up here. That was just a one-time thing that I had to click on. All right, well, hopefully that gives you an idea about how to install it and how to get it set to use on pages and then in another video, you can watch how to actually do the editing with Elementor. It's a great way to get your pages set up looking beautiful and customized.